There is a secret Twitter code in the game that no one knows about. What's up guys, it's MD here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you five secrets in Mads Chapter 2 and stay tuned to the end because one of these, well I'm about to die, one of these you'll probably won't know about at all. So uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, so these secrets I have two lined up. One of these you want to make sure you stay until the end because one of these I guarantee you none of you are going to know about. Trust me, none of you are going to know about the secrets, so stay tuned to the end. So I've got two Easter eggs and then two of uh, two like items that you can earn. So we're going to start off with an Easter egg. We're going to alternate. So what you want to do for the first one is you actually want to go to the boardwalk and you want to keep going. You want to keep going forward this way, and you will see in a second there is. It is a pirate ship. A cyber plane is literally getting destroyed over there. But anyway, um, <laughs> right here we have a pirate ship. So yeah, just a little bit uh, forward of the uh, the boardwalk, just over here by the uh, the boys, you can see a pirate ship. And this pirate ship is actually a nod to the chapter one, season one pirate ship, where you can get the flying Dutchman phantom power. That was the way you could get it. Throughout season one, that was the only way that you can get this until an update uh, permanently added him as a, as a hero. Then he got changed to a villain. Um, so this pirate ship is pretty much the exact same. Obviously, it's seen better days, as you can uh, tell by like the wood and everything. Yeah, so this is the ship. It's quite a neat little Easter egg. It's like a nod because we are in season one, as you can tell up there. It says season one. And this is chapter two, season one. And uh, this is a nod from the Easter egg in chapter one, season one, which I think is a, is a very nice touch. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to tell you how to get is the jetpack. And you can actually get the jetpack. You used to be able to get it at the nightclub. Now it's actually at the casino. I'm going to show you exactly how to get it. Okay, so once you get to the casino, it's not that difficult to find because there's a giant uh, casino little marker there. You want to go through the revolving door and just start robbing the heist like you normally would. Okay, so you want to keep going. You want to hack the computer. You want to go down this laser room. And then once you get here, this is exactly where you want to go. So you will see one of these little doors here is never on this side it's always on the right so you want to make sure you go to the right then you will see one of these doors will start flashing as you can see these gates so you've got these ones they all have i'm gonna get it killed here these have red there this one is flashing green and red so you want to punch it or just shoot at it it'll turn yellow and open so this will open and you get a slot machine here and you just want to roll the machine and every single time you only need to spin it once you will get the card 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 thing and we'll get a card four times you can take the red key card and then let's go to the location. Okay, so the place you actually want to go is the same place the live event was, well, the main area of the live event was. It's actually the Swifty Studio building. So it's where the, uh, where the nightclub used to be. You want to go around the side and then you'll see an entrance right here. So the elevator will open if you wait long enough, then the door should close and it will take you to a new floor. Here we are. So then you want to hold out your key card. You need to make sure you're holding your key card. And you want to go to this room over here and then click the button that says go down. It will drop you down here. You want to quickly do that because it only, it only drops you down for a second. You want to go through this room and take the jetpack. So the jetpack used to be really good. You, you need to make sure you hold out your uh, key card when you take it. And there you go, you've got it. So the jetpack used to be really good when it was added in season one, I believe it was. Got nerfed quite a bit in season four. And then um, now in chapter two, it is better it's st it's still not as good as what it used to be in, uh, in season one but it is a lot better so, so this is slower but it lasts forever so i actually think it's now worth it really just to, to like do things like this and like actually bother to get the jetpack i think getting the jetpack is actually worth it now okay so the next easter egg is actually one that was in chapter one and is still in chapter two and it is right behind this mad city sign by the town over here you want to drop down to the Man City sign. Now this is actually the cookie room. So in chapter one there was a cookie room and in chapter two it is still in the game. So you want to go to this sign over here that says Mad City. You want to go behind the scene over here. You'll see a little rock over here and there's a little gap. It's kind of hard to see in the nighttime but like right here you want to crouch and start walking forward and you'll get into this little gap here. You want to keep going, walk across this way. You can see it poking out and then boom, you're in the cookie room and you've got um, you've got Nick here, one of the developers. Uh, it's, it's pretty much the exact same as it was in chapter one, just a little bit different. So you want to talk to Nick and it says, dang, you found me. Want to share this giant cookie with me? Um, yeah, it's a pretty nice feature. The cookie is quite cool. Um, yeah, basically the same Easter egg as in chapter one, but it is cool to see that it's back in chapter two. 
Okay, so for the second item you can get in the game and the fourth secret, it is actually on the cargo plane. So what you want to do, you want to rob the cargo plane like normal, and then of course I'll show you what to do from there. Here we go then. The plane has reached the safe altitude, the C4 has blown up, and the plane is now coming down. Here we go. And there you go. Now the heist is open, and we can go underwater and collect the money. Of course, we're not going to be collecting the money, we're going to be getting the death ray. So what you can do, you can go to the front of the plane and open up this hatch to get inside, or you can go around the side, uh, press the button, and go through the back. Uh, I went through this, so what you want to do now, you want to look around for some piece of paper that says a four-digit code. So I think there's one that's over here, behind here, is there? Yes, there is. So there's one right here, it says 7724. So there's the uh, there's the main way there, second room here, 7724. What you want to do, you want to go right here behind that code and you want to open up the safe, enter in that code. So for us, it was 7724, it changes every time you rob it and you want to click the green button and there you go. It should flash green if it's the right code. Then you want to go over this way back towards where the, uh, the little hatches that we got in from and you want to select get key card. Only one person can get the key card. So you want to make sure you get it before anyone else does. And then there you go. We've got the green key card. So this one is a little bit further away than where the jetpack location was, but I'm going to show you exactly where. Okay, so we were at the Mad City sign for the uh, for the cookie room Easter egg. What we want to do now is we're going to go over here to area 51. So you'll see uh, this is where it is on the map. It's at the top and you want to go, instead of going to area 51, like I am right now, you want to actually go down underneath here so you want to actually go under the bridge and you'll see this red bunker over here you want to go right there so area 51 is just up there this is the surroundings that's where you want to go on the map so you can see my white little marker at the top of the map right there that is where you want to go so this is the red area you see the green room you hold down the button to open the garage and there you go there's the death ray so i find it really interesting how there's a picture of Cluckles. Even though Cluckles is dead, there is a picture of Cluckles. What you need to do, you need to hold out the green key card, and just like that, you can get yourself the death ray. I'm gonna go through this door here, and here is the gun range. Um, and obviously we can actually tell what the damage is. So there's 16, um, and it just stacks 16. So it is 16, but I know headshots do a bit different damage. I don't actually know what the headshot damage is. I think it actually is 20, so I think the headshots is 20, the body shots is 16, and it fires slow. So it's a little bit more, a little bit less powerful than normal, but it is still pretty good. Okay, so I'm on my alt account, hence why I don't look uh, normal, because I already did this on my main account and the other alt account that I had. There is a secret Twitter code in the game that no one knows about. I guarantee you, you don't know about this. And um, all you have to do is go into code section and you need to enter in this code. I'm about to tell you what it is so basically there was a bug on mobile where um the twitter code just did not work so i reported it to my friend ofentark who is a qa tester for mad city he's literally been testing mad city chapter 2 for ages he managed to report it to the developers and oz they thankfully fixed the bug pretty quickly so thank you very much oz and he actually told me about a twitter code that's in the game and i'm about to show you what it is so what you need to do the enter the code the code is king Okay, and when you enter this code, you get Pong. That's it. <laughs> it's a Twitter code, I, I wasn't lying. So yeah, it's it's a funny little Easter egg that the devs um, added in just for fun. And there you go, that's how you do it. So yeah, that is the Twitter code. It is it, literally just ping. If you enter in another one like Pong, uh, it doesn't work. It's an invalid code. So ping is the only Twitter code currently in Mad City Chapter 2, and it gives you a message that says Pong. So yeah, that is the video. Um, I actually have many more secrets of Mad City, so if you want to see a part two of this video, make sure you drop a like, and make sure you subscribe to the channel, by the way. Thank you so much for 2,000 subscribers. The goal by the end of the year is 2,500, and like I've said before, we are on course to hit that, so make sure you subscribe. Um, and yeah, that's enough from me. My name is DMD, and as always, peace out.